You have a contact page, you have your website, but you also have a Facebook group and you want to display it on your site. For that, you can use the Facebook group element in Brizzy Pro. On this contact page, I want to place my Facebook group here underneath my social media. I go to Add Elements, scroll down to Social, and then here from our Facebook elements in Brizzy Pro, click and drag the group to where you want it to appear. Click on the element, and the first thing you'll probably do is change the link to the group you want it to be. Add the URL over here. For options, go to the Facebook icon, and here you have some control over the width. By default, it comes in at 300 pixels, and the maximum will go up to 500 pixels. Now you have options over a light skin or a darker skin. You can also show social content or disable it, and you also have control over the metadata. You can apply shadows to it as well as hover shadows, and then you have alignment options over here. Let's save it and view it on the front end to see that it displays properly within your WordPress site. And there is the Facebook group. You will have to test though for mobile responsiveness. If we look at how it will display on the Apple iPhone X, you will see that maybe this size of 500 pixels is way too large and it will cut it off like this. That is why when you go back, to fix this, you will need to reduce the width so that it can fit on a mobile display. Set it at something more manageable like 300 pixels, which was the default setting. Let's update it. Go back to the front end, refresh our page and see how it displays. To learn more about Brizzy and Brizzy Pro, make sure you subscribe here to our YouTube channel. Also visit us on Facebook and hop on over to the website at brizzy.io.